Today we're going to look at uh, parallel lines and transversals. And this one's going to be the first of two videos dealing with this, and it's going to be kind of heavy on the vocabulary. So um, in this video we're just going to look at the vocab, and then in the next video we'll do a few examples using what we've learned. So here we have two parallel lines, one is M and one is N, and they are parallel, they never touch, they're always the same distance apart, and then we have a transversal that cuts those two parallel lines. And so this is called the transversal, and these are the parallel lines. Okay, and from that, we end up with eight different angles that are formed. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And, uh, you know, this isn't representative of their angle measure, it's just we're naming them. Okay, so we've already talked about throughout this course, vertical angles and linear pair. And vertical angles are opposite sides of an intersection, and then linear pairs are adjacent angles forming a line. They're supplementary. So let's look at the next picture and identify some vertical angles. So vertical angles would be like 4 and 1. Those are right across from each other, so some pairs of vertical angles would be angle 4, and angle 1. Um, another one might be 5 and 8. Okay, 6 and 7 are also vertical and 2 and 3 are also vertical. So some, we'll get rid of these markings. Let's answer the next question. It says, what are some examples of linear pairs? So linear pairs are angles that are right next to each other to form a nice straight line. So, um, angle 1 and 2 would be linear pair. So that's angle 1 and 2. We could also say angles 1 and 3. We could say angles 2 and 4, 3 and 4. We could say 5 and 6, 7 and 8, 5 and 7, and so on. So there's a bunch of different linear pairs. So this is kind of a refresher of what we've learned in the past. OK, so today there's going to be some new vocab terms. Uh, the two of them we're going to focus on at first are alternate interior angles and alternate exterior angles. And so alternate interior angles are on opposite sides of the transversal, and they're in between the parallel lines. So let's look at an example of this. Alternate interior are on alternate sides of the transversal, so one on this side, one on this side, and they're in between the parallel lines, so like 4 and 7. Those are alternate interior angles. Angles 4 and angle 7. Uh, the other example I could see here are like angles 5 and 3. Those are also alternate interior angles. Okay, let's look at the next definition then, alternate exterior angles. These are on opposite sides of the transversal as well, but they're outside of the parallel lines. So let's look at this picture. Alternate exterior angles, they're on one on this side of the transversal, one on this side of the transversal, and they're outside of the parallel lines. So like 2 and 8. So angles 2 and 8. Oops. And 8 are alternate exterior angles. Likewise, angles 1 and 6. Let me switch up colors here. So 6 and 1 are also alternate exterior angles. And those are the only two pairs of alternate exterior angles. OK. Um, two more terms. There's actually three more terms for the day. The next two are called same side interior and same side exterior. So same side interior angles are on the same side of the transversal. Imagine that. And they're in between the parallel lines. So something that's on the same side of the transversal, so they're on one side, and they're in between the parallel lines. So it would be like 3 and 7. Those are same side. Oops, sorry, this says exterior. I meant to do interior. So like 3 and 7. Um, another example would be angles 4 and 5. Okay, so let's head back to our definitions here. Same side exterior angles are on the same side of the transversal, just like the same side interior. 
but they're outside the parallel lines. So that would be this page, and I had already marked it up. So they're on the same side, but they're on the outside, so it would be like 8 and 1, or maybe 2 and 6. Those are same side exterior angles. Okay, and then there's one more term for today. Um, it's corresponding angles. And so corresponding angles are located in similar places relative to the intersection. So what I mean by that is, like, if you, we took this intersection right here and just slid it up to the other intersection, which numbers would match up? So 7 and 1, they're corresponding. Or 2 and 5, those are corresponding angles. Or 8 and 3 are corresponding angles. Or the last pair of corresponding angles would be 4 and 6. Those are corresponding angles. So just imagine you take one intersection, slide it up here so the parallel lines come right together, and it would be which angles match up together. Those are corresponding angles. Okay? So um, let's fill in a chart here. Which of these are congruent and which are supplementary? And I tried to make it look pretty obvious. I mean, this is obviously an acute angle, and this is obviously an obtuse angle right here. So let's look at same side exterior angles. Are these congruent or supplementary? So same side exterior would be like 1 and 7. And it's obvious that this is an acute angle, this is an obtuse angle. They're not the same. They do add up to 180, so they're supplementary. Okay, alternate interior angles, and that would be like 5 and 4. These are both acute in this case, and they are the same angle. So alternate interior are congruent. Uh, same side interior, like 5 and 3, those are definitely different angles. This one's much bigger than this one. And those two do add up to 180, so those are supplementary. Corresponding angles, that's like 1 and 5. These are the same. Remember we talked about sliding this one up here. The 5 would lie right on top of the 1. Those are congruent. Uh, vertical angles, that would be like 6 and 7. Those are the same. Those are congruent. Alternate exterior angles, that would be like 8 and 1. They're the, on the exterior and they're on different sides of the transversal. So 8 and 1, those are the same. Those are considered congruent. And then a linear pair, that would be like 7 and 8. And those form a nice straight line, which adds up to 180. So those would be supplementary. OK, so that's it for the first part of parallel lines and transverse transversals. The next video, we'll go over a couple examples where I'll give you some degree measures, and we'll figure out what the rest of the angles are. All right.